Ahoy, and welcome to OK at Guitar. I'm AJ, and in today's video, we're going to talk about dynamics, some ways to really put emphasis on some of your phrases so that you can make your chops work for you. So let's get into it. OK at Guitar. So when you hear the word dynamics, what comes to mind? Probably stuff like louder, softer, more intense, pull it back. The big thing is it's not stagnant at one level the whole time. And that's something that we got to bring to our playing is a level of dynamics because we could play something right, you could play it correctly, and it still doesn't have any impact. So if I'm playing something like So the notes are there, but there's really not much there. If you put a little something in it, put a little vibrato on a couple notes, put a little bit of emphasis, put a little bit of stank on it, it's got a little more impact. It has more impact. In your soloing, if you're playing something simple, not everybody's got a lot of chops. I worry about my chops, so I try to make every note count. So if I'm playing something maybe in the major scale, okay, the notes are there. It's technically in the scale and it's all right. But if I really want to drive a point home, if I want to emphasize something, then I'm going to hit it. Give it a little bit of juice. Put some stank on it. So, how do you know what your brand of stank is? You know, a lot of people have different styles. So, I went through, got some examples. Wanted to run through those a little bit. So, okay, example time. I got three of them. So sorry to interrupt the video, but when I make a mistake, I have to own up to it and fix it. So the section that I was going to have with the examples, uh, I was going to end up using some copyrighted material and YouTube wasn't going to allow that. What I'll do instead is I'll let you know what I was going to do. I'm going to include links down in the description to the tracks so that you can go and listen to it yourselves. First one I was going to do was Ozzy Osbourne, No More Tears. The verse section of this really, I thought, demonstrated some good dynamics. Um, got me doing a pretty good stank face, which I'm really sorry you're going to miss out on. Because it was pretty sweet. The next one was Parliament Funkadelic, Bop Gun. The whole thing with the clean guitar the compression on it and the way that that small little compressed guitar carried the whole song. I thought it was awesome. And the third one was an acoustic song by Tommy Emanuel. The version of Amazing Grace that he did was just fantastic. You should really go check all three of these tracks out. So again, um, it was my mistake, so no harm, no foul, I guess. Uh, in addition to being okay at guitar, I'm also just okay at YouTube right now. So we're going to figure that out and keep going. But back to the rest of the video. See ya. Three very different styles. Three great uses of dynamics to really drive their points home with what they wanted to portray to the audience. All right, that does it for this video. We really just scratched the surface of the idea of dynamics. That's a good place to start. We'll get into more specifics on future videos. So if you like what you saw today, go ahead and hit the like button. I'd appreciate it. Subscribe. 
and then go check me out at okayatguitar.net. I've got a blog started over there that goes into a little more of my experiences and some of the background of where I'm coming from with this whole thing. The idea behind it is to let you know, to let me know that it's okay to be okay. We can use that. We can work with that. So we'll see you on the next one. Okay, I guitar.